Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. That way you'll never miss out on another pick a card reading. I do one on my channel every single Friday. Now today we're going to be getting into August. So we're about to hit August and I want to get into what energies are coming to you. We're going to read um, for anything that comes up, money, career, love, whatever else comes up. So what I'm going to have you do is pick a pile or pick a crystal. So we have pile number one or the tiger's eye, pile number two or the black tourmaline, pile number three, the black onyx. Which one jumps out at you? That's the pile for you. And while you guys are picking, I do want to let you guys know I have new spell videos up on my OF. I have new spell videos up on Patreon, weekly readings up there. And also my Etsy shop is having a sale. So make sure you go and browse and enjoy yourself there and with that being said let's get into your august reading okay pile number one everybody that picked the tiger's eye okay so we just had a new moon in the sign of leo yesterday and this was so much about how how do you want to stand out how do you want to be recognized how do you want people to see you how do you want to see yourself how can you be more bold Stuff like that, you know, how can you stand out more and how do you want to stand out? And so there's a lot of that energy that is going on in your reading here. I took a look at the cards before I started so that I could kind of meditate a little bit with them. I have my cat hair right here, you guys. They love to sit on my little table right here because I always put cloth on it. <laughs> and they get their hair all over it. But to me, I feel like they bless it. But anyways... Which I feel like <clears throat> everything that I, that I mention in, in every reading, there's a reason I say specific things or things pop up in your head. or And so I feel like cat right now, cats, um, in the month of August might be something that you are gravitating towards. Maybe spending more time with your own cats. Maybe adopting a cat. Maybe you'll find a cat, rescue a cat. Maybe your cat's going to get pregnant. There's something about cats for a lot of you. Okay, so let's head into the first message and I'm going to start with Vishnu. Now, this is Lakshmi's husband and he is known as the maintainer of the universe. So he is the preserver of life. If I'm super stuffy right now, um, we actually are fostering a dog right now <laughs> Uh, we just found him. We're trying to see if we can locate the owner and stuff. For a few days, we've just been calling around, like, the animal shelters and stuff. But as you can tell, it's affecting my nose. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting so distracted in your reading. I feel like this is an energy that I'm picking up on in August for you. Just kind of being distracted and then knowing how to bring yourself back. Okay. Now, another thing that Vishnu, this card is for a lot of you um, that are in relationships. This is and possibly, very possibly could be a very permanent love relationship. And what I want you to know is that you need, the spiritual love in here is important and you need to grow that. Uh, what is spiritual love? Uh, for me, I mean, everybody has their own definition of it. But spiritual love is, you know, how you connect, how you bond, how you communicate, and how you grow together, how you nourish each other, how you strengthen each other, stuff like that. And that's so interesting because Lakshmi and Vishnu, they do that for each other. In so many images of Lakshmi and Vishnu, they're, that's so funny, I see a cat right outside my window. Oh my goodness, you guys. That's so funny. We're just talking about cats. It's crossing the street so slow. I think it's hurt. I might I might go check on it right after this reading. I think it's hurt. Okay. So let's let's focus. There's so many distractions here. Okay. So for a lot of you when it comes to your money in August. You are going to have enough for your needs, but a lot of you are uh, practicing more of getting your uh, mental health, your spirit right. 
Like you're kind of focusing more on that before you step into your money energy. But I want you to know that you're going to have enough for everything that you need in the month of August. Um, for a lot of you that have your own business in the month of August, the more honest you are, the more it's going to benefit your business. So this means being honest, even like when you don't, you know, sometimes for me, I work with my partner, like we work together. And so sometimes for me, I have to be really honest and be like, Hey, can you like do it this way? Not that way. And sometimes it feels bad because that is your partner and you're like bossy, you know, like, but then at the same time, you have to be honest for the business to work. So I that was a little example from my life that I gave you. But be honest in August in everything. You, be honest nicely, okay? You don't have to be aggressive. Um, for a lot of you that work for someone else, in the month of August, I see that you might be reconsidering working there. Like you might be like, you know what? Um, I'm not growing here. Or you know what? I'm, I think I'm going to be happier somewhere else. Or you know what? Like... I just want to try something new and different. So a lot of you might be thinking about um, another form of employment, another form of work. Now, when it comes to a lot of you guys who are studying or about to take exams, um, don't quit it, okay? You have to finish this because you're going to pass it. <laughs> you're going to succeed in this. You're going to achieve. So don't quit. Um Okay, that's a message for a lot of you that are taking some sort of test or something. Um, and so with that being said, let's get into some of the other messages. That was all just from him. Um, now, the next thing that I want to say is to spend time with friends. Don't completely isolate yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys are very, very hard workers um, and you tend to like neglect your relationships through kind of just being busy. And so in the month of August, I see a lot of you making new friends, connecting with friends, just having fun, just hanging out. Um, and it's really like, it's really enriching for your soul. I also want you guys to start doing gratitude lists the whole month of August. Just challenge yourself to do it every day, at least five things, and just watch the entire energy of August change for you. I feel like there's a lot of things around you that you have to be grateful for, but you kind of tend to neglect it because your attention and focus is somewhere else. So with that being said, let's get into this section right here for you. Nine of Pentacles, if you can see, you have it twice. Sorry for the sniffling. <laughs> but you have this card twice from two different decks. And so that's very interesting to me. Um, you have a lot of nines and sixes. So that's telling me that you are doing something against the grain or you want to do something against the grain. In August, you want to do something different. You want to do something that is just exciting, spontaneous, different. Um, some would even maybe say taboo. <laughs> so Nine of Pentacles also is telling you that's okay, do it. Like go explore something else, but also nurture the seeds you've already planted. You know, um, there's lots of money coming in here. Nine of Pentacles is just flourishing. It's luxury. It is being self-sufficient and independent. There's financial gain. Um, and I also feel like a lot of you in August want to work alone or somehow you're going to be working alone. And it's this working alone that is bringing in this money. It's your ideas. It's your value that you are adding and bringing in, you know? Um, there's something about that. Now, this Four of Swords card right here, though, is telling me that there is also going to be a time of retreat, rest, renewal, solitude, and just recovering back your energy level. So in August, I see a lot of you guys might be taking a vacation, but what I see is it's not a planned vacation. For a lot of you, it could be planned vacation. For a lot of you, it's just like, like you catch the flu, and then you just got to sit at home and you're forced to do, to do nothing. So this is kind of like that energy here where you're kind of going to be forced to just rest. And I'm not saying you're going to get sick. I mean, for a lot of you, it just could be like spontaneously, I don't know, your friend is like, hey, I booked a cabin here. Do you want to come? And then you just take a few days off and you go. Spontaneous trips like, 
hey, like, you want to go on a road trip here? There's a festival going on. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like some spontaneous trip that I see for a lot of you. And so it's not planned, but it's something you need because you need that rest and you need that you need that for your mind. Six of Swords also is telling me travel. Again, like, it's, a lot of you might be thinking about moving. Um, and for a lot of you, I, I also see, like, it's a new type of a job. Um, or new energy in your business. Um, and then the Six of Wands right here. This is such a good card, you guys. This is really, really good energy. And this is about victory. You're going to achieve. The, like, remember I said, anybody that's taking some sort of a test or anything, you're going to pass. You're going to achieve it. There's recognition here. People are going to see you and look at you. Uh, there's good news here in August coming to you. And there's lots and lots of success. Um, so make sure that you keep practicing your gratitude in August for love. Um, there's two cards here that I didn't put on the table because there was no room, <laughs> but I thought I would just pop them up on top after the reading. So this one is energetic movement. And then this one is the capacity to love. So for everybody that is in a relationship or even not in a relationship, love life seems to be going amazing in the month of August. I also see <clears throat> there's a lot of more loving energy towards the masculine. So you know, you want to do so, you want to take action in the relationship. Even if this is a relationship just with yourself, this is for everybody's love life, whether this is your love life with yourself or a partner. Um, there's this energy of you tapping or, or feeling more love towards the masculine, um, gentle love. And there's energetic movement here that where you, when you start to appreciate the masculine, and I'm not saying like bow down to a man, like, you know, some people take these readings a little weird but i'm saying like it doesn't matter what gender you are if you are you know you just kind of learn to appreciate the masculine energy in each other you know like you know i i really love how protective you are and i really love how you take care of this and stuff like that and you just start to appreciate the masculine energy um, of yourself and of those around you especially if you're in a relationship it's a lot of um that energy and also like if you're in a relationship and you're with a man, they're going to be extra aroused by you the whole month of August. <laughs> um, and then if you want more readings like that, you can head over to my OF. I have more information, like more readings like that uh, from different decks too that are not appropriate for YouTube. <laughs> um, and energetic movement. I see a lot of you guys' finances changing. If you guys can see, he is literally blessing the nine of pentacles. Literally, look at the arm. Blessing you in your work. And you have nine of pentacles twice. So you're getting blessed twice, three times, four times, five times here. Um, make sure that you practice gratitude for it. Make sure you give offerings to your ancestors. If you do work with Ganesh or, or Vishnu, you know, give them an offering, an incense, or even just Mother Earth. Give something to Mother Earth. Um, and so, yeah, that's going to be your reading. Everything looks amazing. Work with Tiger's Eye Crystals because they're going to help you um, with that strength you need, that courage you need, that fire, that just that stamina, you know, the energy levels you need in August to do everything you're about to do. Because there's a lot of financial and career moves here. Um, that are going to make you want to rest too. So there's, I see so much for you in August, money-wise, relationship-wise, friendship-wise, um, and mental health-wise, and being recognized, you know? So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Everybody that picked pile number two are the black tourmaline crystal. So this crystal actually has been sitting with my golly for years and so I decided to bring her out and put her in your reading and it's very interesting. I see a lot of you guys kind of walking away from something with this energy of this crystal. It's like you're walking away from something very negative and in, judging by the cards in your reading, it was something that was draining your body. Like something was really messing with your health, your body, even your mental state and it, it just... You know, you felt lethargic, low energy, um, just not motivated, and 
lost passion for the hobbies that once made you feel excited. You know, there's so much of that going on in here. So let's start with this. We're going to start with the deity card first. And this is Dhanvantri. And this is the god of medicine. He presides, he's like the presiding god of hospitals. And if you hear that, we're fostering a dog <laughs> right now. We're trying to find her owners. She's so well behaved, you guys. Oh my god. Um, and we kind of called it into the animal shelter and all animal control, all that stuff. So we're still kind of waiting to see if somebody comes and gets her. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to keep her. She's a baby. Um, yeah, but that's her. That, that's what you're hearing. <laughs> um, back to your reading, though. For the month of August, um, a lot of you guys, I feel like, are going to be very much involved and motivated and passionate about your health. Some of you might be going back to the gym. Some of you might be signing up for a gym. Some of you might get a home gym system or something like I've been wanting to get an elliptical so bad I I don't like going to the gym I don't like stepping outside the house I do not <laughs> and I would love an elliptical so I could just like do the elliptical uh, and then watch YouTube videos while I do it or like you know just I need to do that and so I feel like a lot of you guys you're gonna either go to the gym, get a gym membership, get an exercise machine, or get into some sort of exercise. You don't even need equipment. I mean, you could do yoga, you could take walks. It's just, I feel a lot of you are getting physically moving. And um, for anybody that is in a relationship, the whole month of August, I want you to know uh, that you, if you're in a relationship, you are with the right person. And if you're not in a relationship, this card foresees that you are going to find your right person very soon. <laughs> um, and do you see how she, I, I feel like some of you have been wishing for something in love. And in August, I see it's being granted. Like you have been wishing for it so much. This eight of wands is like all your focus and concentration has been on this wish. And this wish is going to be granted in the month of August for so many of you. And when this wish is granted, there is a new journey that you are going to be walking into. For a lot of you, if you guys hear me sniffling, it's because of the new dog. <laughs> I get like allergies and stuff, so please don't mind me. But in the month of August, this full card is kind of telling me you're going towards something very new. Something, it is your wish granted. And for a lot of you, it's love. You know, it could be like a reignition of your current relationship. And if it is, you are with the right person. And there's this energy of like leaving behind something. Like leaving behind some kind of an innocence. And here's kind of what I mean about that. So you can kind of get more information about this on my OF. It's not something that you could really talk about here on YouTube, but you know, like sometimes you, um, for me, I lost my virginity when I was like 22. And so for me, it just, sex was taboo. And it was like, no, you don't do it until you're married and just everything. And for me, it was also you like your purity, your innocence and stuff like that. That's, what I was grown up being taught and so I kept I held on to it and I was almost like scared you know but until I let go of that like purity fear like you know what I'm saying if you I'm just trying to tell you my story so you kind of understand the energy of what I'm talking about it's like something that's holding you back that you think is good for you but there's something better <laughs> uh, and so I was just holding myself back from experiencing sex and so but because I was holding on to my purity which I mean I can be pure either way you know what I'm saying so I feel like it's that kind of energy where you're just like you know what I will be fine and that's better for me and I want to experience this I want to know what this feels like I want to know um, what the magic is what is so sacred about it like you know what I'm saying 
whatever this is, that wish that's being granted to you, you're letting go of some form of false purity that you are holding on to, like something that you believe. And it's, it could even be like superstitions. Like, you know what, if I, I've kept this blue rug in my house for years and if I take it out, I'm gonna have bad luck. You know what I'm saying? Or like, or somebody told you if you take it out of your house, you're gonna have bad luck. And it's just getting rid of tossing those kind of feelings out. And now, for a lot of you, when it comes to your money energy in the month of August, um, there's going to be a lot of good luck in your business and your work if you do things ethically and honestly. Like, don't try to cut corners and stuff like that. Just do things, just do it up front, research your stuff, get to know the facts and the details. Like, don't try to take shortcuts. You will thrive if you don't. <laughs> And for a lot of you uh, in the month of August, clear out your workspace. During the beginning weeks of August, clear it out, clean it, dust it, organize it, you know, maybe add some new artwork or new color or something, a fresh new um, scent, because it will benefit you throughout the entire month of August for your money. Now, for a lot of you, there's this message to get into study about spiritual healing, your own spirituality, um, like natural herbs, natural cures, home remedies and stuff like that. I feel like you are going to find a lot of passion through that for a lot of you. Okay. For a lot of you, it could be how to cook a healthier meal, um, the ingredients that you could use together and what they taste like. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be focusing on cooking in the month of August a lot. Um, home cooked food, home grown, like, you know, herbs from your garden. But I just feel like they're like, I'm sniffling, right? And I'm just about to talk about health. Now, it's going to be very, very important for you guys to eat more like natural foods, like incorporate more natural foods into your diet, into your life, um, like, you know, vegetables and fruits and more greens and like, you know, for me, I love seafood. I want to incorporate a little bit more seafood so I get a little bit more meat intake. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, also for a lot of you, I feel like if you're in a relationship, there's going to be somehow you're both going to be cooking together, having fun, flirty, fun type of very sensual cooking together. Maybe we're taking like a cooking class or you're cooking for your partner or your partner is cooking for you. Um, it's something like that. And it's just the whole month of August, you're just going to have real good energy around cooking and food. This could also mean you're trying out new restaurants. You're trying out new foods, new recipes. It's just a lot of fun with food. So much energy on your health. And if you're in a relationship, this might be the thing that just sparks the relationship back up. Trying new foods, you know, experimenting new flavors and tastes and cooking together or cooking for your partner. You know, it's just, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Another message is to work on your altar. I want you guys to work on your altar the month of August, again, in the beginning of August. You're being asked to clear your workspace, like clean it, and also your altar. Um, which I need to do. This is probably a message for me too. I need to clean it. I need to just wipe it down, rearrange it. Um, and so I would advise you guys to do that too. <clears throat> rearrange it. Bring something new or, you know, take something out. Um, rearrange a few things here and there. Wipe it down. Dust it. Give them some incense. Perfumes, you know. Um... Because I feel like you're going to be spending a lot of time on your altar in the month of August. So you want to make sure when you're looking at it visually and everything, the energy exchange is going to be very, very good. Watch. Okay. Now we're going to get into the Four of Cups energy. You're bored with your altar too. Um, a lot of you guys are bored with your lifestyle, your health, like your food routines. Um, and the way that so many of you guys are going to spice up your life is, I'm telling you, through food in August. There's this energy that you've been feeling just bored and just lackluster, dull, just like kind of moping around, like 
the same clothes every day for some type of a feeling, right? But that's changing in August and I'm very excited for you. There's a lot of energy coming in that I'm just going to spark up how inspired you feel. Do you see how she, you've been praying for this, you've been wanting this and you're just being released and freed from something. For a lot of you, this might be being released and freed from some kind of legal matter. A lot of you like the court cases or something, it might be dismissed or go in your favor. And it just takes a lot of burden off of you and you feel like doing more in your life after that. Because, <laughs> you you know, sometimes when there's there's like something on your shoulders so heavy um, and then you go and try to do something exciting, it's, you know, that feeling you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to try to enjoy it. <laughs> but you deserve to enjoy it fully 100% without that burden on your shoulders. And I feel like that's what's coming in in August for you, just enjoying so many things without that burden on your shoulders whatever burden this was for a lot of you it was like a case or something legal or you know um but it's gonna it's gonna be good it's gonna be very very good so there's another message for you guys to something that you have wished for it's gonna come true in august right we already talked about that but it's very important for you to tend to this and grow it slowly don't like just do everything slowly Okay, you're going to be excited, you know, you're, it's going to be very exciting and it's just going to be very fun and the energy is going to be very good. But I want to tell you to take everything slowly, How, whatever slow is to you. <clears throat> That's another thing I want to say, you know, to everybody, everything is different. So take things slowly, even when it comes to your business and stuff, just make sure you, t you tend to this slowly. Um because it's gonna grow into something really, really big. Now, I have two more cards here that I didn't put on the table yet because there was no room. <laughs> and so that is the empowerment card and that is the healing card. So a lot of you are going to be healing something in your body. Whether like maybe some of you guys have been like sick for a really, really long time or you keep getting sick. Like for me, uh, I've been struggling with asthma all my life but lately I feel like it's getting better and I'm healing it in my body even though my nose right now is so clogged up because <laughs> because we're fostering this dog um but anyways empowerment is your solar plexus chakra so it's really funny because we just had a new moon in Leo yesterday this new moon really affected a lot of you guys and your health and how you're healing from it I want you guys to clean out your altar and your workspace because it's going to help clean out your body and also your work, like your finances. Um, so that the negativity and the blocks and, you know, the stagnant energy is gone. Um, I see a lot of you guys eating a lot more fruit in August. A lot more. I see mangoes. I see orange fruits, yellow fruits, bananas. And just healthier things. And you're just going to have a lot of fun with it. Okay. And solar plexus is our confidence. It's our energy. It's our willpower. It is our happiness. And how much happiness we allow into our life or we don't allow into our life, right? So in this case, there's a lot of energy where a lot of your happiness was blocked because of your solar plexus, your confidence level, your energy level, your motivation level. And that's all changing. You are healing that. And in August, you really get to see what that healing is going to bring into your physical reality in, in all areas of your life. And then we have the black tourmaline, which if you put this anywhere, it transmutes negative energy into positive energy. And it's very, very good for just getting rid of negative energy. You can hold it in your palms. You can kind of just put it on your cards anywhere. Um, it's really, really good. So if you have any black crystals, work with those. Um, keep them near your bedside all August. Um, keep it under the full moon and the new moon in August. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Okay, everybody that picked pile number three or the black onyx heart. Okay, so what is it here that made you feel so isolated and trapped? I feel like there's like something around your heart. You, you're keeping it guarded. Is it a secret around yourself that you don't want to tell anybody? That's the first thing I'm getting. Now, 
we're gonna start with the deity card first and the deity that came up for you guys is Minakshi. Now Minakshi literally means fish eyes. Isn't it interesting? Look at her eyes. <laughs> um, and she is, she's a very strong warrior and she led a lot of military campaigns. This is her story. This is her lore. And she was a very strong woman, like very fierce, right? Goddess of valor, holds true to her values, um, stands strong in what she believes in. So I think in the month of August, a lot of you guys are just going to be in that mind frame. No, this is what I believe. This is what I choose. This is my path. And she very strongly believes in following your own path and and not conforming. And also just she helps those who want to lead their own lifestyle. You know, her lifestyle was very different than others around her. Uh, she was actually she, one of Shiva's wives. <laughs> and... So she just had a very different lifestyle. She's very proud of it and she's very confident in it. And so I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be heading into that energy. Now, for any of you that are in a relationship, um, there's this message in August, like, don't move forward if you have doubts. That's a huge message of August for a lot of people that are in a love situation. Do not move forward if you have doubts and also speak up speak your mind make sure you stay true and stand true to your values because your partner you know if they truly love you then they will either agree to disagree or they will you know try to see your side or just some sort of some, some sort of communication will happen where it's just resolved and civil and loving and just like I feel like a lot of you guys that are in relationships might get into little mediocre, small little fights over stupid things like if you watch the news and like you say something that's your opinion and they say something that's their opinion and then you're all of a sudden butting heads the next thing you know. Um, and so I feel like it was just little, little stupid, stupid things like that. And, and in the month of August, I feel like if you're in a relationship, the, both of you will be just a little bit more open with your opinions, but there's just going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, you believe that, that's great. This is what I believe. Let's go for a walk. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be kind of like that. Um, I see a lot of the feminine energies getting their way in August, especially if you're in a relationship, you're just going to have the upper hand, you're just going to be a little sweet and you get your way. <laughs> You can find more information on those kinds of spells on my OF if you're interested. Uh, but yeah, for a lot of you that are looking at money and finances and career in August, I see there's, for some of you, there's an inheritance coming in or, okay, so there's this like $1.6 billion lottery right now. And I do find that a lot of I see some of you uh, winning some of that money. Like, pro like you know how there's like billion dollar worth of lottery, but then there's like the little amounts too, like 500, 1,000, 10,000, something like that. I see some of you guys winning that. So play the lottery. <laughs> Just take a chance um, in August. And a lot of you guys, there is this message that in August, Success in your work or your business is a hundred percent coming in, but you will be putting in work. And I'm very happy for this because you're going to be using your hands. Somehow you're going to be using your hands. I don't know if you're making something, creating something, typing, painting, gardening, landscaping, um, something you're doing with your hands which is going to be very successful and bringing you a lot of money. Now, when you use your hands so much, I want you guys to treat your hands in the month of August, all August long with oils, okay? If you 
if you've been on my shop, you know I have money oils, I have deity oils, I have so many different kinds of oils, love, sex, <laughs> and you can apply these onto your hands. They're very moisturizing and they smell amazing and everything you touch and everything you do just becomes very magical. If you don't have my oils, you can do this with essential oils. You can do this with just going into your garden, if you have peppermint in your garden, take a leaf and rub it all over your hands and just smell it. Now you have that energy in your hands of peppermint, clearing, of opening roads. So I feel like in the month of August, really treat your hands and see what that does. Because you you do everything with your hands. So it's very important to put a spell on it, right? And what better way than aromatherapy lotion even. Victoria's Secret Love Spell is an amazing lotion. <laughs> and like any kind of lotion that you have or I don't really use lotion. That, uh, I haven't used lotion in so long. I can't even use the Victoria's Secret one because I, uh, my skin is so sensitive. And I've just trained my skin to just use like natural oils and stuff. So I would use like lavender, peppermint, roses. Um, and you can even, you can even use perfume on your hands, rub it, smells all nice, use it before you sign something, use it before you are about to go create something, um, anoint your hands, okay? Now, let's head into this section of your reading right here. And the first thing that I see here is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is telling me that a lot of you guys are going to be com coming across new ideas, new, um, just your mind is clear and there's just new ideas. So make sure that you write these down. And the more and more that you work with scent and aromatherapy and the more and more creative that you're going to be getting in August, you're going to have ideas coming to you, like downloading them off the chain. So you're going to have to either pull your phone out or write all of these down because they're going to be a lot. Now, I also want to say a lot of you guys are going to have some sort of surgery. Now, what I see is beauty. Now, some of you might be having like eyelashes getting done, permanent eyelash, not permanent, like, uh, you know, eyelashes or a, what am I trying to say? The eyebrows eyebrows the permanent eyebrows microblading that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> um something about your eyes and like surgery or you might be getting contact lenses a lot of you it might not i don't see it like health wise if you guys hear that we're fostering a dog so he, she is playing downstairs with my dog <laughs> we're trying to find her owner we've been calling you know animal services animal shelters animal control all that stuff we're still trying to see if somebody tries to come and get her. Um, yeah, so that's what you're going to hear, the commotion downstairs. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, what I was saying is um, this is like an aesthetic type of a surgery. Botox even, for some of you, I see maybe you're changing your look in your eyes. Um, for a lot of you, I also see you might be getting surgery that you've been waiting for for your eyes. I remember I knew somebody that was waiting for so long to get this procedure done on her eyes. So after she got it done, sorry if I'm sniffling, it's because the dog were fostering. <laughs> uh, but after she got it done, she could see without glasses. And so it could be something like that too. Some kind of surgery that's going to benefit you. Um, most likely, I see a lot of you, it's like aesthetic or it's not even a surgery. It could just be like, um, like I said, lashes or uh, microblading or eye tattoos or face tattoos around your eyes or something like that. Um, and then we have this Nine of Swords card. And Nine of Swords is telling me that a lot of you were dealing with nightmares, anxiety. A lot of you probably were even grieving. Um, some of you just, there's a lot of energy where there was just so much chaos in your mind. But as you head into August, your mind is focusing on what this is that you're doing with your hands. You're really going to be creating something or working on something with your hands and it's going to be so good for your mental health, your relationships, everything. Now, I also see the Seven of Pentacles, which it might even be bringing you money. Um, it's going to be slow processed money, like slow process of bringing you money, but it's going to be bringing you money. 
And I see that when you work with your hands in August, you find yourself being more patient and you find yourself working harder, but you're enjoying everything. Page of Pentacles also is that energy of just doing things a little bit more slowly. I see so many of you guys that are very patient, but you lost it. And by working with your hands, you are getting it back. I also see um, a new job for a lot of you and a raise for a lot of you coming in August and some news about money, an increase of money coming in August. Now, everything is going to happen slowly and also uh, but it's going to happen in within the month of August. But also when these opportunities and these things get presented to you, I want you to also uh, take your time. Don't just rush into anything. Take your time. Um, and the Seven of Cups is just telling me there's going to be a few opportunities here. There's going to be a few choices that you're going to be presented with. Um, a lot of choices and for a lot of you I feel like it's very hard for you to commit to something and I want you to know don't blindly commit to anything that you're presented with there's such an energy for you to clear your head you know get into this meditation and working with your hands use smells and scent all August and don't be surprised if you smell things like you smell ancestral um smells like you know if your grandpa was smoking a lot of cigarettes you might smell cigarettes or you know if your great grandma loved gardenia perfume and that's all she smelled like and then you smell it all of a sudden you know what i'm saying um so you might be smelling things a lot in august and also invite more scent and smells into your life and watch how it changes so many things in your life um the Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords together is telling me do not blindly walk into anything in August. Um, and the Two of Swords here is also telling me that, you know, for a lot of you, there's going to be a decision you're going to be making, a big, big, big decision you're going to be making in August. For a lot of you, I, have, I feel it has to do with your work or your workplace or your business or something. Um, it's slow movement, but it's a big change. Which it's an exciting change, very exciting because fish eyes, fish represents abundance. And look at this abundance right here. Um, and then we have the hierophant, which is you're ascending to like a, a place within your mental, a place within your mind that is going to be bringing you a lot of success and wealth. Like you're getting ideas that are going to, you know, what like say you're say you're into pottery, right? And you get this idea to create this pot to look a specific way that nobody's done before. Like, I feel like that's kind of what's going on here is you get ideas to do things in a way that other people have not done before. Make sure that you act on those, not rushing it slowly, okay? And Two of Swords also talks about um, compromise. You know, don't be overly stubborn and overly strict in choosing things in your life in the month of August, okay? I have two more cards that I did not put on the table yet because I, there was no room. <laughs> but the card is personal transformation and understanding. Like I said, um, don't blindly go into anything and also... Um, don't be too stubborn when you go into something either. You know, be a little bit flexible, but don't be blind, right? And then the eye. Um, and just understand everything. And I feel like um, there's this energy of understanding coming in August for you in your relationships all around you. People understand you better and you understand other people better. And it's you're connecting with people through your art or through whatever you are doing with your hands, there's personal transformation because you are a different person in August. You're more creative. You're more balanced. You're more laid back. You're a little bit more chilled out. And you stand up for your beliefs, though, at the same time. You smell good. You're going to be doused and laced in oils and perfumes and lotions. And I feel like you're just going to grab attention everywhere you go because of the scent of your body. And, like, your whole aura is going to feel it and it's going to give it off. And so that's going to be your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.